to watch others go through the program, have their life-changing experiences, and then go on to other opportunities that they may have in their associations or in their uh, communities is pretty cool. And it's like, yeah, that that, that person was in my class. (laughs) I got to be their dean. (laughs) Welcome back to Nevada Realtors Today, your place for timely updates on the news and trends that matter to realtors in the Silver State. Now let's join your Nevada Realtors president, Brandon Roberts, and Nevada Realtors CEO, Tiffany Banks, for today's episode of Nevada Realtors Today. Hi, everyone. We are so very lucky to have Sarah Scatini, the amazing Sarah Scatini, join us today um, on the podcast. So Sarah has a strong background in assisting first-time home buyers, veterans, relocation, investors, and sellers. She is known for her dedication to clients, offering thorough guidance through every step of the real estate process. And she is very, very, very involved, not only um, at the local level, but at the state and national levels. And she is the dean of our Leadership Academy this year. She's our first vice president for the state. She's just an incredible leader. And so we're very blessed to have her join us today um, just to tell us a little bit about her and her leadership journey. So thank you, Sarah. Awesome. Thank you so much for having me. I am super excited to be here. And coming from the best class of 2019, uh, I am super excited to uh, be the dean of our Nevada Leadership Program this year. We have an amazing class, and we are just getting ready to head into our Program 3 at Fall and Leaf Lake in Lake Tahoe next Tuesday, actually. I'm looking forward to having this uh, fun time with them. Uh, and so and the inside joke is best class ever, right? Or were you yeah. truly the best class? Like, what is it about wanting to be the best and the I best think, class? I think it's that um, you are in, when when you meet your class in program one and you, and you go through what we go through and just starting, um, you form this bond with your class very quickly. You just start to see that, you have other people uh, in your class that are on your wavelength and going through the program just as you are. And then you just click with this group and really over the, it, you know, over the time of it all, it is, you spend um, about 10 days total with your group, a year long time frame. And you you spend this time with them and get to know them and just be you're on the same level and you're vibrating at the same level and as as your classmates. And so truly, like I felt like our class was the best <laughs> um, in 2019 because we had from we had seven from the north, seven from the south seven guys, seven girls, and we just all got along awesome. And we, from our class, like we had so far to date, at that time, we had six of our 14 people that were in our class uh, that were moving on to leadership roles within our different associations. And so it was uh, super cool. And myself included in that, I was rolling into um, my local association as um, uh, president-elect and, you know, heading into those roles. So I moved my way up through um, our association and with president in 2022. So um, that was, you know, something that's super cool. And just it, the our leadership program gives us the tools and um, the means necessary to be able to be successful in upcoming leadership roles that we may have within our association um, and even the national level, um, as we, you know, get more involved and roll through our, um, roll through our, uh, leadership roles, I guess. Brandon, what year were you? So I was in 2013, best class ever. (laughs) And the program's evolved so much even since 2013 and I think you're going to come back and join us as a guest trustee which we'll get into what that means here in a minute um but then COVID happened and I think we canceled right right before 
you were able to be the guest trustee. We said, don't worry, we'll invite you back. And then that still hasn't happened. And I'm still waiting. (laughs) You're still waiting for that call. Sarah, we need to make sure we invite him back to be a guest trustee. B, you're there for sure. You got it. You have to. Yeah, no, it, it it changed my trajectory of my um, volunteer as well. Um, I I heard about it because I was the president of Women's Council down here in Las Vegas Realtors. And so they, they were kind of sending all of us to it or encouraging us to go. How did you hear about the program, Sarah? Um, I was actually, um, uh, I was invited to fill out an application in 2011. I did get accepted into the program in 2011. However, uh, I had some family things come up at that time and my um, stepdad got very sick and later uh, in that year passed away. And so I, it was timing for me. Uh, it wasn't the right time in 2011. And so I had um, just got, I it was always on my radar to get you know, to go through it. And then so finally in 2019, actually Todd Disbro, a past leadership alumni graduate said, you know, we have, we, we need to get you. I was, I was rolling into uh, these leadership roles uh, at our association. And uh, he's like, we need to get you in now. Now's your time. Let's go. And so I did, I filled out my application. I was luckily accepted into the program and then just you know, best class ever of 2019 and (laughs) haven't looked back and going through the program. I knew like coming out of it, I was like, Oh my gosh. I mean, it's such a life changing program and what you do in sessions two and three, what we go through as a class in sessions two and three, you as an individual will have your life changing moment whether it be in session two or session three, mine happened to be in session three of which we have coming up uh, next week. And um, it was my game changer. It was my life changing moment. And uh, I, when we um, went through that and then graduated in 2019, I knew I had to continue on this journey. This is exactly where I needed to be. It was, it's my heart. I am a 100% go giver. And I begged and pleaded and I told Tiffany that I, I was like, please make me a guest trustee. <laughs> please. I, I want to go into this. I need to be this. This is, this is my heart, my soul. I need this. And, um, and then we, uh, you know, and I got accepted to being a guest trustee and then COVID happened. And so we had, um, we were trying to get through 20, 20 and 21 were two, uh, they, many of the people were kind of did a two year uh, leadership program because in 2020 we had so, so much unknowns of how things were happening and going and everything and we thought well, we'll be through this and you know then rolled in another year of COVID <laughs> and so uh, you know so some things got uh, kind of pushed around and then luckily I was able to get in as a uh, trustee for the program and and work my way up and now I'm dean and I would not change this when you you said two things that were interesting. So the first is when you think about the timing in your leadership journey and how maybe 2011 would have happened for you and maybe that would have set you on a different path. Who knows? We don't know. But then how the timing of your life, right? And the timing of not doing certain things or taking the leap of faith to do that. And then the same thing into the trustee of maybe guest trustee wasn't right. So then you became the full born <laughs> trustee, you know, that next year. What do you think about the timing of one's leadership journey and trusting that process? Because you've had to do a lot of that, I'd say, um, over the years. Totally. Um, I definitely think that timing is key. Uh, We all have busy lives. We all have things that happen. We all have things that we're trying to you know, do and and work and then along with our businesses and, and, you know, be successful in the real estate industry um, while, you know, plugging along and adding this into your scope. And um, so I definitely think that timing is key. It, it was not meant to be in 2011. It, 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 I started it, but it just, it, 
God had another plan for me and he shifted me into a different direction. And uh, so in 2019, I was like, okay, now's the time. Uh, I felt, I felt better and different, like within the things in my life and what I had going on. And so I was able to be able to be in the program, be focused on it and make things, you know, like make it a priority to, um, even though craziness happens and, and life happens all around us, uh, that, that I made it the priority to, um, make it happen. It was my time and I got to redo that time and so and run I, with it, run, I I it and run with it. No, <laughs> that's, that's incredible. Brandon, when you said that it changed your business, like, what does that mean though? And and I think, and I also want to get into the details of how you apply for the program, who gets selected, the process, but because right now we're talking about like all these amazing things that come out of it. But for you, just because I'm curious, like, how did that change your trajectory, Brandon, of your business? Uh, well, interesting that Sarah says, I mean, it, the timing is everything, right? It's you're, where you're supposed to be at the right time. And for 2013, when I was going into it, uh, I was president of Women's Council, like I said, and I had no idea what um, my business, how it was going to evolve or, or change over that year. Um, but what what had happened is uh, I'd moved to Vegas to to work for a company selling real estate franchises. And during that year, 2013, we decided to part ways. And during that process, I had to make some big decisions. Was I going to go back to Utah, move to another state? Was I going to open a, a real estate office? Was I just going to go work for somebody? What was it? But going through that program helped me analyze and decide to actually open my, my real estate company today and uh, actually launched it halfway through my leadership journey, which wow. um, without that, without the support and the people around me, and that program, I don't know if it would have turned out the way it did. Um, and then it's taken me a little while sent from that to to move up the the leadership ranks of you know state president and stuff like that. So Sarah's moving a little quicker on that stuff, but but it was perfect timing for me. And it wasn't so much the stuff I got out of it was for leadership as much as maybe leadership in my own personal life and business. That's incredible. And, and actually, when we talk about the leadership program, we talk about, you know, again, Sarah said something interesting, even to the point of like, you know, how many of her class was on, you know, the board or on this, but we look at, we look at the program as how can you develop personally and professionally as a leader? Of course, the end result for Nevada Realtors is we have an incredible board member, an incredible committee member. And obviously like the peak is if you can go on and become part of our leadership team, our executive team and state president, um, and then move on again in like national committees and other things. But we really want it to be about personal and professional growth because we feel like the more you focus on yourself and your business, the better you are able to give back, right, to the community and to to the realtor members. Um, and so the the program itself, Sarah, will you go into a little bit about the makeup of the program? Obviously, it varies from year to year how many people are in it. But what we try to do in selecting a class that's diverse and, and a good representation across the whole entire state. Yes, um, we typically we we actually where are we? We're in September now, so right. Our our applications will be going out here within the next, yep. you know, monthish or so. And um, and we we talk this program. Your trustees that are tasked with being a trustee and and are lucky enough to be a trustee for this program. I mean, they, we constantly are out there pushing this program and everything that it can do for you and talking about it. I mean, people get pumped just from hearing us talk about it. So, uh, we, we typically like to, um, roll between, you know, 20 ish or, you know, eight, uh, anywhere from about 16 to 20 or so, uh, Nevada realtors from all across the state. We have Las Vegas, we have Reno, we have Elko, and we have Incline. And so we um, select, we get our applications in, and and the trustees go through those applications. They read through them. Um, they come through with 
uh, endorsements as well from from people from others who have taken the Nevada Leadership Program, and then we look over those uh, applications and endorsements and go through and really try to select. We, we get everybody from across the state, um, but we really do try and select. Um, you know, kind of nat- uh, uh, an even amount of number from the north and the south. They're typically tends to be a little bit more from the South, like from Las Vegas, just because they are a bigger association than the rest of us. We, it's it's a selection process because we've had over the last few years, we've had quite a few um, appli- more applications than we have had in years past. And so, um, you know, if you get it selected to be a part of this phenomenal program, um, consider yourself very lucky because <laughs> uh, there's many people that have even applied a couple of times that hadn't, haven't got in yet or whatnot. But we encourage people to, if you don't get in right now at this time that you're applying, maybe your first time, to keep applying because we take that into consideration as well. And we try and put together this this class that, you know, that everybody, um, you wouldn't meet these people from across the state in in another setting like this that you would you know if you if you didn't have this opportunity so and it's it, a good balance too it right? is a good the balance yeah, yeah that are experienced versus and and it's cool because like the people that end up connecting in the class like even the newer agents that you know been in the business several years but are very hungry and how they've bonded with like eight brokers that have been in the business 30 years. And to Brandon's point before of, you know, like how that class ended up, you know, like kind of helping support and push what he was decided to do and like what he was going for. That's exactly the feeling you get in that class. Like whatever you're doing, they rally around each other and they rally around your cause. And so like, I would have loved to have seen a snapshot. I wasn't there during Brandon's time, but it would have been so fun to get to watch the class, like rally around your cause and like, you know, you going out on your own and what that looked like and staying in Nevada, like that, that crossroads. Um, would have been cool to like experience that with you. One of the coolest things, like that balance you talk about, Sarah, of of dividing it up between the the north and the south, or or getting that variety. Um, it was neat to to actually meet people from the north, from Elko and stuff like that. Because then when you started to volunteer and you started going to the other associations or other meetings, you started to know people there and you felt better. And I I'd have to say, like I moved to Vegas uh, in two thousand eight. And I think at the end of 2013, I could honestly, I felt like Nevada was now my home. And it was because I knew more people across the state and it wasn't just this outsider coming in. So that balance is huge in in doing that. And then um, the deans play a big part of it too. And and I think it's awesome you're the dean this year. My dean was uh, Greg Martin, um, who's been a pretty big influence in my life through a lot of different things and a good friend. Um, but what does being the dean of the program mean to you? Oh, I I can honestly say when I first got into being a trustee uh, for the program, I I wasn't quite sure my spot or like how I was going to lead it or like how how could I be? What can I do? How can I help? All, you know, I was kind of. I'm not really sure. <laughs> um, you know, I just want to be involved and help others. <laughs> and um, now, today, being the dean, I, I'm. Uh, it, I have watched myself, and I can tell in myself and how I've grown over the last few years um, of not knowing, like maybe how to deal with something or or how you know, how, how can I help and how can I be of leadership, you know, uh, qualities to others and, and, and just be like a shining light towards others. But now today I'm like, I will shine on. <laughs> I know, I know my role. I, um, it has helped me with being our vice president for Nevada realtors. Um, and this 
uh, this year, you know, being the dean, I'm able to, I re- I feel very confident in, in what I bring to the table and how I can uh, deal with some things that we may have within the class and, um, and really problem solve um, and know where, know how to help uh, versus when I first got in and I'm like, I just want to help. Just plug that in anywhere. <laughs> and that's so, been so fun to watch you just like evolve right into like, I have so many good ideas. I'm here to help. And, and that's what I think has been something that's been so consistent with you is you're always just like, put me in where I need to go. Like, you know, let me roll up my sleeve and get my hands dirty. Just tell me what I need to do. And like, I'm there. And it's yeah. been so fun to watch you just be like, no, this is where we need to go. This is the direction, you know, and, and take ownership and, 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 and watching the class, because you don't know as a trustee and as the Dean, you're a mentor to the class. And so not only are you serving as a mentor for, I've been in this position before, cause I've gone through this experience like this, but you're also there to help guide them in, you know, like kind of business or any other areas. And I, and I love again, watching the class reach out to the trustees for for that advice or for that guidance or for that support. And it's just, again, it's really cool because we, we purposefully don't let the class know what they're in for. So if we're talking in generalities about this leadership program, like we're purposefully, right, not telling you what it's about. It's just about, do you want to like embrace what it's like to be a leader and have a journey through the Nevada Realtors Leadership Program that we can help facilitate a lot of that. And so you don't know what you're getting. that process. Yes. And just taking the leap, like you said, Brandon, the leap of faith and trusting that process uh, and just knowing that it, like you're going to come out 10 times better than when you went in. (laughs) Like just the process. (laughs) It works. (laughs) It's also fun to watch because people have different personalities, like some are really flexible and some are not as flexible. And so a lot of, you know, the things that we kind of task you with kind of test, you know, what, how you generally feel or how you generally like operate in the world. And it kind of makes you think differently, right? Like, oh, maybe I'm more go with the flow, but maybe the person I'm dealing with isn't as much. Let me understand that person rather than push and um, so I think watching again all of those things unfold is is pretty fascinating. And I a hundred percent. And I also would have to say that going uh, through the program in it, like when you go through the program as it in your own, and then getting to be the trustee and watching, you, you're going through it all over again. So I we know what's going to happen, but it's amazing to be a part of their mm. journeys and see like let's see how it works for them and let's see how how they take their journey and how this goes and 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 to go through it all over again with them is truly something super special um because a lot of people go through the program and then when they're done they're done and then they you know they may be involved at their uh, associations or you know committees or whatnot but to watch others go through the program, have their life-changing experiences, and then go on to other, um, you know, opportunities that they may have in their associations or in their uh, communities is pretty cool. And it's like, yeah, that, that, that person was in my class. <laughs> I got to be their dean. <laughs> so um, just, <clears throat> just knowing that you have some influence um, over some uh, uh, over others is pretty special. It's it's neat. Um, yeah, and and like you said earlier, you don't always get in, and applications are there's more and more every year. So there's a we believe that you'll get in when the time's right. Um, yeah, not that we the, not that NVR knows when the time is right for anybody, but everything kind of happens for a reason. And and don't lose faith. Uh, I'll share another. Uh, story that I I actually applied to be a trustee once and I didn't get that either. So um, there's hope for everyone. Um, even if you don't uh, get in, we're sorry. Uh, you can still there. See that I'm still I'm still pleading my case. Okay. 
<laughs> we'll bring it back for a review. <laughs> uh, uh, it's a big commitment to go through that and then to to be a trustee for what is it like two years and then the dean oh. yeah, and then you're the past. Three, yeah. So four, three, yeah, four year commitment. Four year commitment. Right. And you've got another big commitment coming up because you're first vice president of the state moving into president elect uh, mm -hmm. and then president and then past president. That's a four year commitment, too. Yep. And so it's, so, it's a long term commitment. I'm right? <laughs> yeah, long term commitment. And then I'm ready uh, to, you know, this is, I feel like this is my path going through the leadership program helped me get to this path that I'm currently on and I'm super excited to be a part of it and see what you know come in my way because uh to be a lady leader at that you know I am the only uh lady that sits on our executive team for the state and so to be able to have the passion and uh the voice and the um you know, respect to be in this position is super special to me and I don't take it lightly and I take it very seriously and I just want to be better than I was yesterday. That comes through, Sarah. It's, it's really a pleasure to be able to serve with you um, and to, to experience all the, the uh, ideas and the drive that you bring behind it and the passion. Um, we, we feel it every time we're on a call for sure. Thanks. <laughs> I try. <laughs> yeah, you do a great job. So thank you. So Sarah, do you have one piece of advice, like one takeaway? If somebody's listening to this and is thinking, you know, like I feel like, you know, I'm so busy in my business, family commitments. I don't have time to add something else, like a leadership academy to my plate. Um, what would your advice be to them? Do it. Do it anyways. Find the time. Make the time. We can make time for the things that are important to us. And this program is 100% life-changing. Uh, take the leap of faith. And uh, like many of the people that are in the class currently over the past couple of years that I've got to be a trustee for, um, I have pushed and pushed them. And it's you know, it, even though they didn't do it on year one or year two, here I am still four years, five years later, bugging them about it and, and telling them about it. And they finally listen. And they're like, this is, this program is amazing. I would, I am so grateful that I listened to you and that I took the leap of faith because here I am today, loving this class and we are the new best class ever. And, uh, I wouldn't trade that for anything. Sometimes others know what you need more than you know what you need. I think yeah. that's that's a great life lesson. And Brandon, we'll make sure that we do another review over your application. We might have you resend it. And uh, and I'll keep, I'll keep trying. <laughs> yeah, keep trying. Um, keep trying. And so that wraps up today's episode. Um, we hope you enjoyed our conversation as much as we did. If you found value in what we discussed, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great content. This is our brand new launch of our podcast. And don't forget to subscribe to our podcast on Apple Podcasts too, because um, your support does really help us out. And to make it even more exciting, we're giving away, this is why I'm wearing a hat today, not because I didn't get my hair blown out. Um, <laughs> some of our brand new NVR swag, including this awesome hat I'm wearing. So make sure you enter, like, subscribe, leave a comment. And thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you on the next episode. Thank you both. Thank you. Thank you.